What is happening, Internet? Welcome back to Ace Attorney Apollo Justice Trilogy. This is episode three. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are having a good one and you're ready for more Ace Attorney. 61 likes to start. Way to go, guys and gals. That's uh, showing some initiative. Good job. All right. So in our last episode, basically what happened was uh, Apollo and uh, his new friend uh, Trucy Wright are kind of like this talent agency that's trying to solve crimes like they're a detective. We also ran into a character that Phoenix Wright met in one of the um, Ace Attorney games, and now she's all grown up and a detective. So that was interesting. But anyway, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Your first like goal is 100 likes. Let's see if we can get those up, 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 up. And we are doing Turnabout Corner is the uh, name of the game today. I, I think I think Turnabout Corner is the investigation. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. <clears throat> and Amber will be here momentarily. All right, Turnabout Corner. Uh, start playing the game from this safe thing. We were on the streets of wherever we were. Streets of some place. Oh, yeah, this lady. Now, we exhausted all talking options with this lady yesterday. So I'm going to try going uh, someplace else. Because uh, we've, we've done all her points. We've also examined everything. I believe. Yeah, we've examined everything that it's going to allow us to examine. So we're good to go. Okay, let's see where we can move to. The scene of the stand theft. Okay. Yep. Uh, but um, thank you guys for getting uh, over a thousand views for the second episode of Ace Attorney. Same uh, rule applies for this one. If you guys want another episode after this stream, uh, you know, for tomorrow, then a thousand views would be required for this one. Also tonight, we'll be starting uh, Tekken. I uh, could not do Tekken this morning because I got, even though I was able to get the code for the game, I didn't have permission to stream it at 10 in the morning, so I was like, I've been working on a Batman video on my other channel, a documentary, so Amber let me sleep, and, uh, you know, all that other stuff, so. Alright, let's go. Scene of the Stand Theft. Now both cats are meowing. All right, scene of the stand theft, June 15th. So what's this place? This would be El Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. Oh, this is where the stand was stolen from, huh? I could see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. Hey! Look, there's a police car over there. Hey, you're right! What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place, a hospital? There's a sign. Uh, Mira... Uh, Miracus Clinic. Hmm, that's where the thief went. The what? The one who snatched my panties! He ran into this clinic. Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties! I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Hey, there you are, Sonny. There he is. Well, you find anything yet? Uh, no, not yet. The longer you wolf around, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that, kid. This bowl of noodles is sounding like less like payment and more like punishment. There he is. Alright. Let's 
go with talk to this fool. All right, the noodle incident. Uh, oh wait, that's that's me. Um, so your stand, the noodles, was it? Yeah, passed down from father to son. That stand seen its share of salt. Uh, hmm, salt runs in the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure also does too. So uh, your stand was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just stand that was stolen, Sonny boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt-crusted stew pot, my stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand, I lost a legend. I love the fact that he's an actual, like, ramen thing. Like, the, he's the bowl itself, plus he's the ramen, and he's got, like, the color of, like, a ramen shop, like, all included in his outfit. Hmm. It's really clever. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo! Isn't it about time he brought, uh, bought a new one anyway, though? Alright, the stolen stand. Um, are there any more details you could give me about the stand? Ah, uh, you bet, sonny boy. It happened last night, actually. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying the town. I was, uh... The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home, well, uh, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Guess he's, uh, not aiming for the late-night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease and then went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning before the sun rose. Work starts early, you know. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? He has to start making the noodles, like, for later in the afternoon. I washed up my saltiness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The stand had my whole life in it. Nah, my whole being. He looks sad. Yeah, that's Trucy. Or, what's it called? Trudy? Trucy? They took everything? All my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams, girly. At least they left one bowl. Look, they're on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl, my last bowl. Ugh. You won't be able to wash that while you're moving around. That's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. Okay, the garage. Oh, look, there's a little dog in the background. We're gonna mm -hmm. examine the area. Cute. Puppy! Yep. He slurped his hair. It's actually ramen, but yeah. Uh, this is. This is uh, investigate. Investigate. Stamp. Wait, what is this place called? Investigate. Um, ramen shop or ramen stand? Oops, we'll call the street. I'm gonna investigate stand street. I don't know. Ramen stand, I guess. Well, the ramen. Yeah, I guess that'd be. I know. That sink does not look FDA approved. That's quite a sign, I take it. That's no, as opposed to old. Ah, you like it? Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but, uh, ran out of space. Oh, so the stand's name is New N U. New? N O O. Okay. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Lucky for me, it spells a word all by itself and spruces up my image, it does. It does have a certain power of willful denial thing going for it. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, so the name of his noodle shop is No... New... Like Moo, but with an N. Uh, it looks like an old oil drum is connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes. How environmentally conscious. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles to make the broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy! Taste is his business, you know. Look, that sign over there! 
Altoons only uses water from all natural sources. Uh, I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. Uh. Ooh, I mean, if he boils the water. You could actually... You can get a... There's a handwritten sign here. Save the light. Save the light indeed! Mr. Eldoon's house is practically in the dark here! I guess the hospital clinic next door blocks the sunlight. Everything's gone wrong since they built this monstrosity, kid. Broth needs sun or rocks. What's a man to do? They just want my customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. That seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. Uh, so what were you saying about the rainwater? Oh, if you could get a, a really good filter from online, um, or you can make your own that it consists of like clay, rocks, and gravel, and it can strain through that, or in sand, you can actually clean your water that way, and it can be like very purified. It looks like he uses PVC pipe, which is not the most sanitary stuff. Also, it looks like he collects the water off this rusted roof, which then rolls down into this, and then... Ugh. You can actually buy a water filter that you can filter anything out of online for like $300. I've mm. always wanted one, but I mean, it's a lot of money. I'm sure. Okay, this is a sink. Yeah, that doesn't look good. This house is, well, it's old! It's been well loved, that's for sure. I lived here with my wife for many years now. I've lived here. It's got character, though. Just like my soup. I always thought that character was a positive thing. So he's married, okay. Well, technically, you would be boiling the ramen. I mean, I don't know. No, I don't. I, this, uh, nope. Nope. It would be better if you purified it before you put it in. I, I don't, I don't want to know how the ramen is made anymore. Like this ramen. That's the place right there, kid. That's where I keep my stand. Covered all nice and purdy with the blue top there. So you use this plastic sheet to cover your stand at night? I see. You see? What? Did you figure out why it was stolen? Well, no, but it does suggest that the thief knew what he was looking for. What he or she was looking for? I mean, we could just say what the thief was looking for, but okay. They clearly knew what was under that sheet. Yeah. So it wasn't one of those casual drive-by stand snatchers, you mean? Not bad, Sonny Boy, not bad at all. Yeah, that sentence in the English language in the 80s used to say, we could see what he was looking for, and then if you found it was a girl, then you would change it later. Mm -hmm. But that it's weird that they change it makes it more complicated. I don't know if they actually updated the translation, if they just, like, um... They might have actually changed the translation for this relaunch. I don't know, though. Oh, is this from the 80s? No! Oh. Apollo Justice came out in the, um, mid-2000s on, uh, DS. Oh, then it probably was like that in the 2000s. Maybe. Um, is this yours, Mr. Eldoon? Hey, that's, uh, the hot and soul of my noodles. The bowl absorbs my salty soup pretty soon. It's gonna taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. All my other bowls got taken away from my stand. Now get it back for me, sonny boy, I'm begging you. You got a bowl was added to the court record. Okay, we, we stole his bowl. Hmm. Except the bowl's still sitting there. Crossfighter says, I see this sign is saying, no, it's kind of funny. Noodles. <laughs> it's, a, it's a noodle house. It does kind of look like he's saying, no. We're going to call this new home. There we go. All right, so uh, who's this guy? No clues here, even though that probably will be important later in the game. Look, a doggy! Good boy, good boy, good boy, Salty! I'm pretty sure the dog has a real name, Trucy. Yup, she sure does. Name's Spoon. And it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. Uh, she didn't get a bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Poor little thing. 
Apollo, let's find that stand soon, for Spoon's sake! I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles! Yeah, they should be eating other dogs. Dogs aren't supposed to be garbage disposals for humans. They're supposed to be, like, eating protein, like meat. Mm-hmm. Uh, they probably would eat noodles, because dogs kind of eat wherever. Yeah, but dogs and cats aren't supposed to really eat human food. Okay. Well, like, for instance, my dog ate a pie that my grandma was working on for a long time. He ate the whole pie, and then he got really sick afterwards. Mm. So sometimes, like, they like to eat it, but sometimes they'll get sick afterwards. All right, guys and gals, let's keep those likes up. I'm doing good. All right, here we go. The garage. That's it! That's where the thief who snatches my panties ran to! It's a crying shame, that is. If they have to steal, make it my loincloth, not some pretty girl panties. <laughs> wow. The garage right there? You don't think that thief lives there, do you? Ugh. Tch. I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor. Hmm? Do I detect a little animosity here? Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly! Okay. We're gonna go check out the garage. Uh, need to move to... No, not move to. Go. Ah. How do I do this again? Look around. Examine. There we go. No? How do I go over to the other place? There! Okay, yeah. That's good. Alright, so we're gonna examine this place. This is, uh, outside the clinic now. Okay. Uh, uh, this is where 17 minutes in. Whoops. Outside clinic. Okay. Uh, bargain. Three shots, price for one. Looks like they have a special offer going on. Three shots for the price of one? Oh, now that's our chance, Apollo! Chance for what, exactly? I don't need any shots, thank you. Whoever runs this clinic, they seem pretty business-minded. Three shots for the price of one. It's terrifying. I would not want to go to a clinic that says that. Yeah, why would you get extra shots? No clue here. No clues here. Wouldn't you just get the shots that are required? I don't think so. No clues here. Police. I'd understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a cop car? Maybe they're tax evaders! Uh, oh, sorry miss, not going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh no, 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 nothing to see here. Move along, move along. You'll have to find some other place to play doctor. Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? We need a little more info on this clinic. We can ask Mr. Eldoon. He's their neighbor after all. And we should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? What garage? Right there? No clues here. Where's the supposed garage they want us to go to? I, don't I mean, does anything. she really want her... Does she really want them back at this point? I wouldn't. I mean, you could just wash them. Oh, I wouldn't. If somebody else touched them, gross. Oh, okay. That doorway sure is sparkly! The clinic, huh? Looks more like a casino parlor than a hospital. They must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks closed. Maybe they're on vacation today. Interesting. Is there anything else we can click on? Click on the cop car. He's just sitting there. Uh, we clicked on the sign. Nothing else of interest here for now. Where's this garage that he said? He wants us to investigate a garage. What garage? Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know where the garage is. Like. Oh, there it is, the clinic. Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front! Meh, probably gave someone food poison, I'll bet. If anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning... <laughs> the guy, uh, that police car got here this morning, actually. 
I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me the neighbor. <laughs> hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. <laughs> the wrong crowd? Never mind about that. Alright, so we have no more talking options with this guy. So what garage do they want us to go to? Oh! There we go. Alright, off to the garage. Oh, we have to... It's like all staticky. It's all staticky, yep. Off to the garage we go. Okay. Uh... Yep, thanks for the 85 likes, guys and gals. Almost to 90. Great job, everyone. Off to the garage we go. Ugh. June 15th, the clinic's garage. This is the place! This is where that panty snatcher ran! Are you sure? Maybe! Let's look for clues! Clues to a panty snatching! Clues like a pair of panties! Um, Trucy, did you try not saying panties so many times? Yes, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. It's an appropriate Trucy. Yeah, especially because she's like not even 15. She's like 14 or something. <laughs> they consider... It's just supposed to be funny, I It's guess. supposed to be funny, but in Japan they consider girls like... Um, once you're the age of 14 or 15, you're considered an adult. So, yeah. yeah. They can do everything from... You can get a job as early as, like, 13 in Japan, I believe. Something like that. Oh, wow. But you're not supposed to tell the school that you work for a job. Because if you're actually working... In Japan, if you're working and going to school at the same time, and you tell the school, they'll consider you a delinquent. So what do they do to you if you're a delinquent? Uh, I don't know what they happens when you're... just throw stuff at you when you go to school? No, I don't think they would throw things. You're just, like, socially considered kind of, like, a bad person if you're a delinquent. Like, Why? Um, because it's... I, I don't know. Wouldn't you just be considered working hard? Well, yeah, in America, people can have jobs, um, like, summer break and stuff like that. And, uh, you can even have, like, if you're... I think you're a senior or something, it was encouraged to actually have a job, like, your senior year. In America, you could actually have a job. You could drive to school. In Japan, if you drive to school, like, people are, like, kind of stunned by it. And also, they have no place to park. There's no student parking in Japan. Mm -hmm. So, when Americans go overseas and they, you know, go to school and they park, like, they get in trouble because the only parking is staff parking. And even oh, the wow. staff doesn't bring cars. Mm, so, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's like a complete culture shock. Found a cell phone. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. I literally see a cell phone. Oh, okay, that's nasty. I see some stuff that happened there. Somebody stuffed uh, something in the exhaust. That's not good. Well, yeah, that would asphyxiate you. That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Apparently, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow! I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe. 
Everyone's got to have a hobby, I guess. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey! There is something in there! What? Wait a second. Are these your... Ah! My panties! What? Already? Wow! Thank you, Apollo! You're a genius! Amazing! No, no, no. Really, I... Don't mention it. Wait, this is terrifying! No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed! You must have a nose for finding girls' panties! Those aren't what panties look like. Those are bloomers. It's fine. I think they're trying to make it not be too risque. Maybe they changed it for American audiences. I don't know. Yeah, they probably censored it. Um, what are those? My little panties, of course. They've come home to Mama. I can't wait to use them. You're going to put them on now? Watch closely now. See nothing in the panties. Ta-da! Whoa, where did that come from? How did that bowl get in your panties? My panties are an extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties. They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. Uh, you mean those panties are a prop? You could have just told me sooner! <laughs> well, I thought it was her actual panties. That's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Truce these panties. Well, that's one case closed, at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. All right, so we found her magic panties. There's also a cell phone here on the ground. All right. <laughs> oh, wow, that's weird. Magic panties. That deserves a time code. Magic panties. Take that, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Found a clinic garage cell phone beneath the car. It's got a watch on it. Okay, that'll be decisive evidence. Also, Amber, notice the mirror's gone. Oh, this is the car. Hey, look at that! The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. Mm. There's the classic music. What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? I'm not a parrot. A clue? Let's see. Show evidence. I think I do have just the clue we've got in mind. The mirror. No clues here, even though paint is literally on this. I guess you would point to the cords that were ripped out. No, you just have to present it. Oh, okay. <laughs> My clue is this! Whoa! It's the same color and size! And everything! A perfect match! I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo! Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something or someone. Well, looks like we've just solved a case. So the car that hit Daddy last night? Is sitting right in front of us, yup. Wow, you put the pro in professional, Apollo. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo? Huh, what is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Uh, okay. He doesn't seem like the type to mope, though, but sure. This is hardly a case that's worth reporting. 
Okay, so we're going to keep examining the garage. <coughs> mm. All right, guys, you're nine away from um, 100 likes. Let's keep going. Uh, so this is 30 minutes, 20. This is uh, more of the garage. Garage search. Because we're not done in this room yet. All right, so we investigated the car thoroughly. Um, what else can we look at? No clues here. There's a cat up there. There's a fragile-looking skeleton here. Eek! Someone's there! Nah. Oh, it's just a gold-painted human skeleton. Just a human skeleton and painted gold? There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure. Hospital storage. Oh yeah, that does look like a model that you would find in a science lab. Of like the muscular skeletal no system. No clues here with random tires just sitting about. That's yeah. not a clue. That seems Kitty! awfully suspicious. Cat. Cat? You think we can click on the cat? Meow. Yeah. Hey, a kitty cat! You're kitty, kitty, kitty! Meow. Meow. It's not coming down, Apollo. Why? Well, do we look kind of suspicious? You have to admit to it. Oh, it's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty. She won't make you disappear in her panties. My hat. Your hat isn't the magical place. No clues here. Okay, I guess we're out. Now we need to go talk to Phoenix Wright. There's nothing else here. So we examine the cat. We examine... Can we examine this? Look, it's a folding ladder. Really? That's a clue? Okay. Whoa. That's a clue. Polly, that's called a step ladder. Come on. A step ladder, huh? How's that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. Um, all right. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? You have to look past the form and the essence of the thing, you know? Uh, can we talk about something else? Okay, we're out of here. Nothing else to look at except this. Nope, no clues here. We're gone. Okay, so Moving on. So basically, this person, Eldoon's house, he hit Apollo then. No, that's not. It's not. Uh, you mean he hit Phoenix Wright, and he doesn't have a car. Or yeah, he he hit Phoenix Wright. Well, whoever well, whoever owns the clinic, that's their garage. Oh, that person hit him then. Mm hmm. All right. So let's go. Wait, where is the dad? How do we go back to him? Uh, right, anything academy? I don't know. The clinic, Maractus Clinic. Oh no, that was no, the place we were. That was where we were. Um, I guess we're going back to the right agency. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we can go to the hospital from there. Yeah, you can go there. All right, we're gonna talk to Trucy again. Right, company detective agency. You want to see them again? Well, if you must. No, 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 no. I'm fine, really. Stop pulling out your panties. Let's just put them away, shall we? Case closed. What are you talking about? The case isn't closed until we have our thief. Just find him on the side while you work out the other cases. If it were that easy, we wouldn't need the police. If we don't need the police... Then we don't need defense attorneys either, right? Fine, fine. I'll look for your panty snatcher. Well, do we have any leads? Hmm. One moment. Ella 
Alakazam! Alakazing! Whoa, where did all this evidence come from? Hmm. Uh, so what happens next? That's it! Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, neat. Uh, off to the clinic we go. Back to right. <clears throat> Alright guys, five likes away from a hundred. Let's go! Detective Agency. Uh, Phoenix Wright. Wright. Clinic. Okay. Okay. Hey, yo, how goes it? Daddy! How do you feel? Not bad, Trucy. Not bad at all. It's good to have you youngins on the case. <laughs> Let old daddy get some well-deserved R&R. The elderly need their rest! Uh, isn't he only like 33? <laughs> hmm? Uh, we've cleared up most of the cases, sir. I was right about you, kid. Competent, capable. Tell me what you found out if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming as always. Progress report. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to back this early. Polly's amazing! He found my panties so quick! Almost like he was the one who stole them! You have an interesting concept of praise. And... Did you find the mad, uh, driver who gave me that 30-foot toss? Apparently it was a doctor from the clinic. Hmm. Maricus, huh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside that clinic. Maybe something happened! What is this, uh, clinic anyway? All I've heard are rumors. That clinic's been making good money in a bad way. Bad? Ties to organized crime, the Kentucky family. Um, the Kiktaki family? Did he do that on purpose? <laughs> Some injuries you can't take to a public hospital, see? They used that clinic for uh, patch-up jobs. Interesting. People Park. It looked like something had happened in the park. Ah, a body was found there in uh, unusual circumstances, eh? Something more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right! Let's ignore that and find the noodle stand! Whatever happened to professional uh, courtesy? Curiosity? Professional? Okay. Thanks, really. Uh, if I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to that, uh, Maricus place or whatever. Maybe hit him up for some, uh, reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case of your accident and, uh, found the missing article of clothing. My panties! Yep, there it is. That leaves just the noodle stand, kid. Ah! Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help you with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quid pro quo hello pro bono. Right! Back to the office to plan our next move! Alright, back to the office. Alright guys and gals, you were three likes away and we're almost 40 minutes into the stream. Let's go! Remember, likes and shares help out the channel tremendously. Brings people into the stream, all that fun stuff. Okay, to the right agency again. Hmm. June 15th, right anything agency. Whoa! Mm -hmm. You're that woman from the uh, Kataki place. Y yes. I knew it. Something's the matter and you want our help, right? Well, you've come to the right place. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tiala. I have a request. Uh, okay. She has a request. Mm -hmm. 
Your request. Your request? Let me guess. Something's been stolen? Um, your flyer. It says, not defending, so I thought... What? You mean you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened. Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your panties? No, no. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my, well, my fiancé. I suppose you'd call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? Nope. So what's your story? You frequent the uh, Kitaki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet! You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he's a gangster. Yes, but the Katakis are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job. Live the good gangster life. I think you're on to something. Uh, Mrs. Kataki, I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. Murder in the Park. And there is the classic Ace Attorney music again, knowing we're on to something big. <laughs> what happened? I haven't been told all the details, but I do know a body was found in the park near the Kataki Mansion. There were a lot of police cars there, that's for sure. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Your fiancé. Your fiancé is the Kitakaki family's only son, right? His name is Waki. Waki Kitaki. I brought a photo. Oh, Kitaki, okay. Oh my gosh. Well, that's quite the photo. I know. Oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. Does he have dog ears? But if he's the boss's only son... Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm a boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie. Please. Right, my first solo defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. Probably. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Letter of request added to the court record. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. Okay. Well, I thought she would be married to somebody that looks all business-like. Because she's wearing this fancy dress. Okay. Fox ears. Alright guys, your next light goal is uh, 120. Let's see if we can get that in the next uh, few minutes or so. Kind of help with um, stuff. Okay, let's go. So we had talked to her, we did everything, we found out things that are going on. And Ace Attorney Music is telling us to move on to where? The detention center. Oh, we have to go meet this guy. The game is afoot! That's right, Missy Dolphin. We're on the case. Detention center. 
June 15th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Polly, you look as happy as a clam in its shell. For a lawyer that, uh, for a lawyer this is it, the place where the battle begins. No, uh, you need something? Ah, yes, we're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Waki, uh, Kit Kitakai, or whatever. Sorry, he's in questioning right now. Could you take a while? Drat! Oh, well, guess we'll have to come back later then. So much for that battle. He's in questioning, so we can't do anything. That security camera is looking at me. I wonder if they tape all of this. Sure. No clues here. And security guard. He stands here watching this room. I have an idea if he's listening to us or not. I'm not even sure he's breathing. Nah, mentioned that it's a... Okay. Well, we can't be in the detention center right now. Uh, back to the right agency. Uh, who else do we need to talk to? If he's not available... Oh, we could talk to the... Probably the mother again. Since her son's involved. Yep. Hmm. June 15th. The mansion. So this is it. My first murder crime scene. Ah, oh, it's you kids again. Uh, Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, we're investigating, aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. A letter of, huh? Why does it say hit request on it? Hit request? Uh, Miss Talia must have used the kit. Kit. How do you say their name? Kit of what? Kitaki. Kitaki. Kitaki? Okay, alright. Kitaki Stationery. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Hmm. Mr. Gavin? Huh? Oh, wow. Who's this guy? I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. Oh, is this your first time? I felt this way with a man. Hello. Mr. Gavin? Uh, what oh. is this sweet morsel like you doing in a dismal place? Can I help? Uh, I, yeah, yes. The policeman officer fellow here won't let us in, sir. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I'll take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? By your leave, officer. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Ah, <laughs> very well. This way, Fraulein. Wee. Um. Hey, what about me? <laughs> All right, June fifteenth, the People's Park. Okay, so we're inside the park, and we found the noodle cart. Okay. Uh, forty-eight minutes. People's Park. Okay. <sighs> oh, that note. Enjoy your investigation. Thank you. We will see you again. Ask the wind, Fraulein. I'll be riding on it. Uh... Dude, she's like... Never mind. 15. Who was that? Yeek! Apollo, look! A, a c corpse! What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me! Ahem, <laughs> might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Oh, it's her again. Oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy, well, he was more like a prince, really. <laughs> he let us in. Him again. What a glimmerous fop. Always getting in my way. Hm. Anyway, this scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. Hmm. 
Oh, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says that this was written by Alita Tiala. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out. <laughs> so, uh, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body was pulling the stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Skye, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. Uh, she doesn't seem that happy about many things, actually. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I've always carried two pairs of handcuffs just in case. Okay. <clears throat> um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. What? You don't have to make the munching noises. <laughs> um. We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years and they won't give me the position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? An ex-defense attorney? Your story. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. No, seriously? Wow. Oh. Still eating food. Okay. Alright. Okay. We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. She says the same stuff again. He who. Okay, we don't want to talk to her. Okay, let's examine the crime scene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Never mind. Hey, you! No messing with my crime scene! But, but, we need to investigate! Apollo, look! That stand! It says El Dune! I've noticed! Well, we've solved the case of the missing stand at last. Though the circumstances could stand to be better. Oh, boy. Okay, so blue tarp is here. Wow. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene. But we need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried out by professionals, scientifically. She's not going to let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo! Ah, uh, what is it? My very own scientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. Better check out what we came to find out, at least. Uh, what else is there? Uh, well, we found the noodle stand. We can't click on anything else. At all. Nope. She won't let us. No clues here. Well, we found the noodle stand, but we can't do anything else. So this game is different than some of the previous Ace Attorney ones. Like, usually you can actually explore the crime scene and stuff, and this one it won't let you. Like, there's there's a lot more dialogue options and stuff like that than in the original Ace Attorney game. That's what I'm noticing. Like, these um, investigations seem to take a lot longer. Because before, usually you can just kind of poke around and stuff and pick up things, and then, you know, you have to come back to the scene of the crime a couple times. But every time we talk, she's not going to say anything, so... Oh, yeah. But I have to exhaust all the talking things. Detective Sky! She's going to eat it. Quiet, please. It's snack time. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 munch. We're not making much progress here. You must not be very busy. 
I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years and they won't give me the position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. He who? Alright, that guy. Alright, moving on. Uh, back to the mansion. Nobody here? Uh... Impressive gate befitting the uh, Kit Kitaki family. Look at the nameplate, Kitaki! That's so cool, short and blunt, like any good gangster. Oh, let's change our name. How about W-A-A, Wah! Maybe that's too short and blunt. What do you think? No comment. It could be like, Wah! No, let's, let's not... <laughs> That's no. Mm -hmm. Several colors of paint have been splashed across the gate. It's almost all dry. This is going to be a tough uh, thing to clean up. Okay, so now we have to go somewhere else. Uh, Mr. Aldoon, we know where his card is. Uh, Alright. Let's try... People's Park, uh, Mr. Aldoon, Noodle Man, Fifty-six. Noodle Guy, we found the cart, update, here we go. Oh, Mr. Aldoon, hello! Looks like he left. And we found his stand and everything, what about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. Oh, what a bummer. No, I don't think you want to eat here. Hey, look. The cupboards. It looks like our first apartment. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Uh, hmm. Mm, somebody's asking if she's the gangster. If she marries the gangster, will she go along to jail with him? No. No, because that's what pleading the fifth means. That's what the Fifth Amendment is for. You plead the fifth, it means you cannot incriminate yourself or your spouse. So, if your husband or wife is a gangster, like if I was a gangster and Luke was put on the stand, he actually cannot be, if anyone tries to ask him a question that would try to incriminate his wife or him being involved, then he could not answer the question. He cannot incriminate himself. And also, he can't be sent to jail And if I'm a gangster. If you could spare a moment to take a look at this. Can't you see that I'm extremely, extremely busy? Eating snacks, yes. I, bunch, I, bunch. Yeah, I see bunch, that. Bunch, bunch. Busy eating snacks, I'd say. Hm. This is going nowhere fast. Okay, well... You might need to show her permission to investigate? We already did. Like, they... Let's try going back to the detention center because nothing is going to work here. <laughs> nope. No other update here, so we need to go talk to Ace Attorney, probably. The hospital. Okay. Mm. Yeah, noodles are pretty good, Misty Dolphin. <clears throat> Back to hospital. 59 minutes. Oh, so Emma was a character that was in another game from nine years ago when she was younger. Yep, Emma is, uh, I believe she was the detective's <laughs> assistant slash adopted daughter. The guy who died. The, the dude who I gave, like, Patrick Warburton's voice, I believe. Um... Emma Sky, Ace Attorney. She looked like. Let's see, where is she? Did they have her when she was a little kid? So people are saying they feel like she's not as nice. No. There she is. That's what she used to That's look like. That's what she used to be when she was a little kid. She had like a. Oh, wow. Did I play that game when she was there? Yeah. The last. She's in the last Ace Attorney game. Oh, wow. Her, her mentor is killed. I didn't remember that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys have a good memory. And she had a crush on um, Phoenix Wright. Oh wow. Well, I mean, she was like a little little schoolgirl crush on him. 
she and my like both ah you're back run into some problems Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Huh? Who, me? No, no, I'm fine. Really, I don't want to say anything. What's this? So there is a problem, huh? No, 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 no problem, actually. I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore, kid. The request was for me! Oh, right. <laughs> You're a lawyer, aren't you? Uh, he's doing that on purpose, I know it. Murder. So what's about this, uh, defense request? It's related to the murder in People's Park, actually. Hmm. Guess what? We found Mr. Eldon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime! Ah, did you now? Well, that's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Ah, uh, I think the murder weapon was something else, actually. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? What funny detective lady? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene, Daddy! What kind of detective wears a lab coat, anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that, yeah. Sky connection. So you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about uh, 10 years ago, I think. She was still a high school student at the time. That would make her about the same age as me! That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh, wait. Maybe you know that other guy, too. That other guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle! Oh, Prince, uh, mysterious Prince. <laughs> Apollo, tell me about this Prince of Trucy's. <laughs> Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looks like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he's Christoph Gavin's younger brother. Oh. His brother? We're acquaintances after a fashion. Uh, Cavalier Gavin, rock and roll god incarnate. Cl uh, Clavier, what a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what he was doing, what was he doing out there? I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon with that guy. Now, what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, that detective woman won't let us. <laughs> Go to the office under the skill top hat. You'll find a bottle of white powder. Try taking that to this detective. White powder? I hope it's not what I think it is. Just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and uh, tell her I said hi. Okay. Uh, back to the agency to find underneath the top hat, he said. What white powder? I was mostly paying attention to what he said. Uh... I don't know why, but it's not letting me share it to some websites. It's not letting people share a lot of the video. Like, I can't share it at all. Like, I'm trying to share it, and it's like, oh, something went wrong. Mm hmm I don't understand why. You might have been IP banned on Reddit. You said under the top hat? Okay. Well, I don't understand why that would be a thing. I'm just sharing our videos. Because evil people don't like us on Reddit. I already told you that. You have to find another site to advertise, because they'll never win on Reddit. This must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. But I didn't do anything wrong. Doesn't matter, honey. They hate you. We've but already been over this. There's no reason. Their reason is they hate you, and they're going to make your life miserable. That's their reason. But they don't have a reason to. I haven't done anything oh, to them. Amber, you don't understand. It's like I explain it to you, and then you tell me, I'm having problems with Reddit. It's like... I didn't say I was having problems with Reddit. Okay. I said a website. Uh-huh. Let's take a closer look. 
You know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it, but he got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. White powder placed gingerly into your pocket. Let's go talk to that detective. He's sure to know what what that white powder is. Okay, she's sure to know. Okay, so back to the park. Uh, so we go to the mansion, and then from the mansion we go to the park, and from the park we go. Okay. People's well, honey, park. if that was true, it would be very bad to say that out loud on the stream. That would be just what they would want. That's why I didn't say anything. Whatever. All right, presenting. I'm this. not able to share it anywhere. I'm trying to share it to anything. It's not letting me share it. Okay. Uh, back to ER. That's why I don't say things out loud. Okay, honey, where'd it go? I what? White powder. Okay, here we go. Presenting the white powder. All right, guys and gals, let's keep those likes up. It's been uh, over 30 minutes since the next like goal, and there's been really no movement. So let's uh, hit that next like goal so we can set up the next one. Remember, likes and shares are going to bring people in. Whoops. This is a weird white powder. So when Trucy was a little girl, she thought this was candy or something like that. It's uh, investigation stuff. Hmm, the bottle has a label on it. Can you read it? Nope, not a word. I'm not sure I speak whatever language this is written in it. That's too bad. I guess we're stuck with this mysterious bottle of white powder. Guess so. Okay, moving on. Uh, present. Um, does this ring any... B oh, sorry. Does this ring any bells? Ah, is that... It couldn't. Where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Wright and Company Law Offices, yes? Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D -d -d daddy I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Trucy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Mr. Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. Well, 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 if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Well, that was easy. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints? Hmm, I guess you might call it the memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. Wow, she still has a thing for him. She's twitching her hair. White powder memories. Okay. Hmm. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. Well, dust for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Okay, so you'll actually let me investigate the crime scene now? Good. Okay, here we go. Mission complete. Crime scene investigation. Yes, this is the uh, white powder that um, Emma used in the one Phoenix Wright game, yes. Phoenix probably kept it as a memento, because he keeps a memento from all his cases. Okay. Hmm, and this is Mr. Aldoon's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Aldoon in big letters, doesn't it? And, and that mark on this uh, paper lantern really looks familiar. It's gonna be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. <sighs> anyway, that wraps up uh, three of our cases. That's right. Congratulations, Apollo. And leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. Okay, so that's the stand they actually let us click on. Uh, what's this? 
No clues here, even though it says soup. Uh, what's that? Blue tarps have been placed on the ground around the stand. Paolo, I bet the victim was going to have a picnic here. What? No, I, I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted, sure. Don't touch those. Those are preserving the crime scene. Oh, I guess the police put these uh, tarps here after all. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, that's weird. There's a knife here randomly. It's a knife! A shiv, to be precise. Ooh. Oh, lingo! The death defendant, Waki Kitaki, is son of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Hey, look at this. There's a handprint on the shiv. A handprint? Then there might be a fingerprint. Hmm, let's investigate. Okay. Oh, wow, it's doing it for me. Right. First, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. Okay. See, there's more than one fingerprint there. Those black spots! That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Okay, I guess I select this one. Right. Let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum powder over the print. With a press of X, like this. See? The oil left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder, so you just dust it on and blow it off. B blow It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just use a triangle and... Wow, amazing! It's like magic! <laughs> Isn't it, though? Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Okay. Wait, where's the... I think you dust the whole green area, maybe. Really? Well, I don't know. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't see any fingerprint here. Oh, wow, there it is. Hmm, good, clear, quite impressive. I used a lot of powder. <laughs> Next, to match the print, the police office has samples so you can tell whose fingerprint this belongs to. Hmm, it doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. Okay. Okay, pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knight this is already. I guess... Waki Kataki? Age 19. Okay. Age 21. Age 15. Oh, she is age 15. Okay, she's mm. 15. 46. Not his fingerprint. She's 25. It's 46. I haven't even met this guy. Mm, Clavier Gavin. Or Glove Clavier. Plum Kitaki. And it looks like his, Waki Kitaki. Looks like his, but not. I mean, kind of. Pretty close. Match found. So the fingerprints do. But oh, sorry. The fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, the power of science! It's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. Yay, and I'm dimming. Look sharp, spirits up. The real fight is yet to come. Hmm? Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. 
The knife added to the court record. There was another set of prints, though. Okay. Um, probably have to examine the knife with other prints later. Let's see what else we can look at. What about trash can? There's got to be a good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans, go ahead, knock yourself out. Please, can't you see I'm doing my, huh? Look, look another pair of underwear. Uh-oh. Well, Apollo, you're a genius at finding panties. Stop saying that out loud. Wait, these aren't... They're not mine! Could these have been stolen, too? Yeah, they're the bloomers from the uh, lady next door. The wife, the mother, whatever. Yep. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, examine the police statue. This mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place of a body. The body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the noodle stand thief? What do you think? Someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah! Taking care of business, little plum Kentucky style! Try not to sound too eager about that, please. <laughs> She's excited because they're gangsters. Alright, guys and gals, we gotta get those likes up. There's been no movement on views. We're uh, almost an hour and 20 minutes in. Gotta get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. There's a light post here. Benches line the river running through the park. Ah, a little urban oasis. I bet children come here to splash around in the water! The, the river's a little deep for splashing, and a little dirty. Well, they could listen to the water and pretend they were playing! Right. Okay, so... Hmm. Doesn't look like anything else to investigate. I guess we'll go talk to the lady and give her, her underwear back. No clues here. Else here. Okay. Can we talk to her about anything? Oh, now we can talk. Okay. Oh, two likes away from 120, guys and gals. Thanks for the likes, everyone. Okay. Phoenix is a hobo now. For now, this game causes him to come out of retirement for the next game, so. Because the next games aren't called Apollo Justice, they're called a uh, Ace Attorney. So he does come back. Just not in this game, I don't think. I think YouTube is doing something with the lights. Mm. Maybe not. No, if the likes don't go up, the views don't go up. Hey guys, keep remembering to like. If two people can please like the video, we can get to 120. Then we'll help uh, the series to continue. Thanks, everyone. The report came in last night. The body was found much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was a body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, that was the, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Hmm. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Pal Miractus. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. Miractus? That was the, um... The doctor. Yeah, that's the name of the clinic. Hmm. I mean, really, what's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off, pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. Hmm. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. 
So Noodle Stand's owner is... Hmm. Hmm. Who's the old guy? This is the uh, this is the guy who owns the noodle stand, Mr. Eldoon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad, I guess, Mr. Wright. Picked the right kids for the job, I guess. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. Noodle stand added to the court record. What sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. Your story. Me? Who? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Oh! Were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensics expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but I had a lot of favors to repay to people back here. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while, she probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current uh, state of affairs. The defendant. Um, could you tell us about the defendant, please? He's the only son of the uh, kid... kid uh, Kitaki? Kitaki, yeah, that's it. Waki Kitaki, you mean. I don't know if he's the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around violently in the detention center. I see. Why was he... Why was he arrested in the first place? Ah. You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his by any chance. Uh, actually, yeah, I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Eh? The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. Whoa! The victim. Um, could you tell us a bit more about the victim, please? Well, let's see. Apparently, he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is Maractus Clinic. Hmm, maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. What? You've been to that clinic? Yeah, though on a related issue. Uh, unrelated uh, issue. I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see. So that means Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way here. That would... S That's all, Apollo. That would seem to be the case. Hmm, but why? Don't ask me. I'm still figuring it out. So, have you met the defendant? Uh, nope. Have not. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and heading on over. Good idea. I don't know what uh, good it will do, though. We have a witness and a knife with prints. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? Don't worry. It's like a right tradition. Some traditions I could live without. All right, so the detention center should be open now. Probably. All right, guys, your next light goal is uh, 135. Let's try for that. Uh, and uh, just a kind of reminder, guys and gals, that streams do not uh, continue for series if they don't hit a thousand views after 24 hours. So uh, this uh, stream series is not doing the best, especially for a new release that's out today. Um, it took us uh, almost two hours just to get 500 views, so that's not good. And with no super chats and things like that, it's it's bad. 
Um, and I'm going to have to stop at 8.30 because I have to do Tekken. So, because uh, views are plummeting. So, um, just, you know, if you guys want Ace Attorney, just rewatch the stream, like, a lot. Um, in the next 24 hours and maybe you'll get a, a fourth episode. Uh, but as soon as it gets a thousand views, we'll probably continue it on the weekend or something like that. But, yeah, it's, it's not... YouTube's algorithm is completely messed up with live streams right now. As well as, we can't actually notify the people that subscribe to our channel that we're actually live. So, uh, it's kind of a problem. Um, let's see, we need to go to the detention center through the right detective agency, I believe. And then move. Bingo. Alright, hopefully he's here. Detention center, visitor's room. I'm sorry, meeting hours are over for the day. They're all done. But we still have three minutes! I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean like a priest? I mean the suspect's dad. Mr. Uh, Winfred Big Wins Kittitaki guy. Whatever. Die, you! Uh You're one of your way out, old man! Uh-oh. Uh, up oh, they're here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this guy radiates power. Yeah. Power with the cute apron? You walkie's lawyer? Uh, yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins, uh, Kitaki. Fourth head of the Kitaki family, capiche? Uh, actually, I came to speak with your son. Mr. Justice? Yes! My son's innocent. He killed nobody. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Hmm. Capiche? Uh, I'm all about capiching, capiche to loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Gotta do more than just understand to make it. You'll learn, though. Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. I don't feel so good. What's the big idea, old man? You can't trust me. Treat me like a kid no more, you know. You know I, uh... I wanted to go to the clink. I like it here. You must... Uh, are you walkie? G's not a G till he does hard time, bull... Biz... Oh, what? <laughs> G's not a G till he does hard time, bizzo... Bizoy. Bizoy. Seriously. Uh. You'll see when I get out of here, things will change. Silence. Uh oh. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Hmm. Forgive me, I have a hard time believing that. Ha! You can't take me under your wing this time, old man. You heard me. I don't need no trial. I did it! I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let him, uh, let me down tomorrow. Uh... So much for talking to our client. But we made so much progress today! Did we? We even found my panties! I had fun, at least! Uh, can we not do that in front of the police officer? Of course! The biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, I almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come and check it out. Okay, to be continued, that's the investigation. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. So, to be continued. It's 129. Okay, turn about corner. Yes, bye, Linky. Hi, Linky. How's it going, buddy? Oh, wow, it's the court case. June 16th. District Court. Oh. Uh. Hi, Link. Hey, Linky. You guys hear Linky? Wow, 
Oh, he's a good boy. Uh, Mr. Wright's not here today. He said his old foot injury was acting up. Old injury? He was all smiles yesterday. Yes, he smiled when he said we'd be fine as long as you're there, Trucy. Yeah, fine. Well, we'll be fine. Here comes justice. I started my voice training at 5 this morning. Oh, do some now. I want to see. Uh, I'm here. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> my name's Apollo Justice, and I'm fine. That sounds more like a self-mantra than voice training. I'm fine, I'm fine, you know what I'm saying. Uh-oh. Good, good, good morning. <laughs> Yo, sup? Hit me with the guilty verdict, G. See if I care. You just hang loose and let things go with the flow, you know what I'm saying? Not really, no. Mm, don't be running your mouth like that, fool. Ah, what's the difference between me and you, old man? I am ain't afraid of no cops. Real G's can't keep it real till they spend some hard time in the pen. You have seriously no idea what you're talking about. Sounds like they've both been training voices too, Apollo. My worst fear is realized. The trial's starting and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. <laughs> June 16th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Oh no, trial time, Luke. Court is now in session for the trial of walkie, uh, Kitaki, I believe. Is it walkie talkie or uh, whatever? The defense is ready, Your Honor. Ready to rock and herald, Judge. Ah, it's him! The pre- uh, the guy from yesterday! He's a prosecutor?! It's Mr. Gavin's brother. Long time no see, Prosecutor Gavin. Were you taking a leave of absence? You know that little band I started in my free time? Thing is, we got real popular. <laughs> Had to say nine to your fans when three of your singles go platinum, ha! <laughs> I see, to be honest, I was a little concerned. I fear that you might still be distraught over that one trial. Hmm. Not to worry, Herr Judge. I wouldn't miss this day in court for all the world. It's worth even more than VIP passes to one of my concerts. Cha! How could I pass up a chance to see the true strength of the little boy who bested my brother? Huh? It was worth canceling a show or two. Understood. You may give your opening statements to the court. Before that, I was thinking. Is the air in this courtroom not a bit serious? It is a court of law, you know. Mm -hmm. There's no way to get the crowd jumping here, Judge. They're not supposed to jump. This is a courtroom, you goof. Baby, today we play it my way. What's that noise? Sometimes you just gotta get an up in order to get down to prosecuting. This is crazy. The victim, pal Merck Kitts, director of the clinic. He's an old dude. The scene people park, he was found pulling a noodle stand. What in the world was a doctor pulling a noodle stand for? Yeah, I believe you will only find that out by asking the defendant right here, right now. Because it's undeniably truth that he shot the victim. What do you mean, undeniable? If you're to glare at anyone here, Justice, glare at the punk in the defendant's chair. His crime was witnessed quite clearly, you see. Very well. Please admit this witness to the court. <laughs> Nine, not yet. First, there is a little matter to be cleaned up. Could you talk without the accompaniment? Why is he doing air guitar in a court of law? I swear I could see the guitar for a second. What? Wait, there was a guitar? What? What is it? Prosecutor Gavin, yes? The motive, Herr Judge. Why did the little punk do it? Why did he kill the director of the clinic? Objection! I don't even know that. Not so fast. The defendant doesn't have to explain that. 
Oh, but what if the defendant specifically requests to do so? And he did this morning. I want to give a shout out to all my honeys, I believe he said. What? What is, what is right? They always say that on stage. You should hit the crowd with speed and ferocity. Sounds like he got you good, huh, Polly? She calls him Polly. Oh, this is highly unusual, but again, this is my courtroom. The court will now hear from the defendant concerning his motive in the crime. So you, uh, son, are uh, the defendant Waki, are you? Hey, your son, old man! Oh my god! You step to a Kitaki, you best be prepared to step strong! Oh my god! You step to a public office. You, already, you step to a public official, you'd best prepare. Bleh. Wow, that's so many tongue twisters. You step to a public official, you'd best be prepared to step into jail. You gotta hand it to him. Waki sure has guts. It's not his guts I'm worried about. Oh my god. Well then, the court will now hear your testimony on the defendant's motive. Oh my from god. From the defendant himself. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be a long day. I was wondering how you were gonna do the voice for him because he looks so crazy. Ah! <laughs> give, me, give me a second. All right, all right, all right. So the person she thought was a prince is actually a metal band person that also is a priest and a prosecutor at the same time. Uh, Waki's yeah. truth. Waki's truth. Um, prosecutor Gavin, I guess. It's like shiitake mushrooms, but kitake. Yeah. Come on, people, let's get those likes up. And the likes are gone. All right. His truth. I'll tell you one thing. The doctor was a quacker. <laughs> Someone had to show him what's up. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up on my OP, something bad. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later, bye. So I gotta go and get another doc to patch me up again. That was the day I done figured it out. No OG's gonna let that pass. That's why I went to his pad that night. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're saying you were one of the victim's patients? A lot of stuff goes down when you're keeping it real on the street. True dat. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, that doc was whack. Very well. The defense may now begin the cross-examination. <laughs> this was from the 2000s. The doc was whack. It was yeah. bogus. <laughs> My eyebrows say it all. I've seen everything. I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all this. Cross-examination. <laughs> the truth. I'll tell you one thing. Oh boy. First of all, the word you're looking for is quack. And isn't it a little harsh? He's your family doctor. Huh? Who asked you, pointy locks? Just who do you think you are? Um, you're a lawyer? Look, I ain't trying to hear that. I He was a quacker, plain and simple. Okay. Someone had to show him what's what. Um, by someone you mean... Was there anyone with a score to settle with this doctor besides you, I mean? You better ask somebody else. Holmes, why do I care? I made up my own mind and did what I did to be done. Straight gangster style. But why would you show mad at this doctor? Yo, sit back and listen while I drop it, G-Man. Judge Man. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my OP, something bad. So you were a patient at the clinic half a year ago. For what reason exactly? I had what you might call a mark of honor. Can you explain precisely what was wrong? We had a little run-in with the uh, Rivali's family. That's when I pulled a jack move. And ran into an ambush. G busted a cap right in me. Wow. According to my sources, you couldn't stand the stress of waiting. And ran 15 minutes before the appointed time by yourself. Hey, I was more than a match for those guys. So you carried to the clinic from there? Apparently he was shot in the heart. 
Shot in the heart and he's still alive? I can catch bullets between my teeth! But I never learned how to catch them with my heart! The bullet stopped just short of my thumper, you know what I'm saying? I would have been golden if it weren't for that whack doc! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. I can't eyes. even take out a stupid bullet! Mm. So, as you say, the surgery was a failure. That ain't all of it, Holmes! <laughs> then he just let me go! What do you mean he just let you go without a word? What do you think it means? It's whack, that's what! I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds <laughs> bad. It sounds as though Herr Doctor wished to hide his mistake. Which is why he left the def why let the defendant go. He's a liar, straight up! He's a badder G than me! Mm. I believe G stands for gangster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this bullet is still... You know it, I can still feel it! Right there in my chest, pressing up against my heart! Your words are like a bullet shot straight into my heart! He's singing or a song? something to that effect. Incidentally, that's uh, one of our hit singles. What? Well, that sounds like a straightforward case of malpractice! Word, G-Man! We're no accident, that's for sizzle! Oh my gosh. <laughs> for shizzle! Mm, it seems that there were issues with the stock doc. <laughs> Man, putting him down like that was doing the world a favor, you get me? <laughs> Waki, please consult your lawyer before saying things like that. <laughs> Chin up, Apollo! Back straight! Can we stop with the slang? Why did this... Ah, uh, but why did this mistake only come to light that day? It was found during the family health checkup. The family health what? That was the wackest thing of all! All us G's lining up, taking eye exams and all that! <laughs> Better die young than fade away, bizoy! <laughs> a relief to hear. <laughs> ah, what's a relief? Oh, <laughs> did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart, if not attended to immediately, it could kill you. What? Yes, Herr Doctor had knowledge concerning this ticking time bomb in you. Knowledge that could have saved your life. No way, that, that's whacked. There is proof, your checkup report. Walkie's checkup report. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he needs to get that out. How ironic that you would kill the man. One man capable of helping oh you. Oh my gosh, he can't get any help now. You're almost as careless as he was. <laughs> that guy's demented. Uh, uh, well, now that the place is hopping, let's get this gig started. I'm shoddy, what started? We've had enough of a warm-up, Actia. Time to hear from the witness. Walkie sure is quiet all of a sudden. I mean, mm. if you were told that you have a bullet in your chest that's going to kill you, I, I think that would definitely cause some pause. Mm, I guess so. I'm a little uneasy myself. This is Gavin's strategy, huh? Who is this guy? Mm. So, you will tell us your name and occupation. His name is... His name is Stickler. My name is Wesley Stickler. <laughs> oh my god. By occupation, I take it profit society at large, under which definition I must confess. However, we must acknowledge the meaning of identity, which is commonly attached <laughs> to the notion of occupation. Once we've accepted this reality, confusion is not guessed all per, but deceives the vagueness inherent in all representation of, by which he means to say that he's a student. <laughs> oh my god. A junior at Ivy University, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Yes, I'm in the Department of Science and Engineering. Filled with curiosity for all things, I spend my days in pursuit of truth, honing my... Herr Stickler, please direct said curiosity to the case at hand today. Very well, Mr. Stickler. 
I oh no. I feel like I'm gonna get very sleepy with this case. There's Ben Stein. Please testify to the court about what you say on the night- saw on the night of the crime. Bueller. 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 <laughs> you ask quite simplistically what I saw. I understand that Homo sapiens possess two eyes. They're designed to receive and interpret data images and things and- Oh, sorry. The witness testimony. <laughs> or you can make him have a super high voice if you wanted, but yeah, no, this is funny. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's like listening to me drone on and on. Oh, no. Accurate. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to talk for so long. You can't even read everything he's saying. Stickler. Bueller. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. These characters are really fun. Mm -hmm. Why is he wearing his graduation robes everywhere he's going? <laughs> like, did he just graduate and it's he just, didn't... He's just a university student. <laughs> okay. That night I passed through the park on my way home from shopping when I saw them. One man pulling a stand, another man facing him. <laughs> I saw them quite clearly. The man facing the victim was the defendant. In his hand he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. A shot. The bullet hit the man pulling the stand from the front, square in the forehead. Hmm. Was there anyone else in the park at that time? I can say with 100% accuracy that there was not. 100% <laughs> accuracy. The pistol our witness refers to is this! The court accepts this into evidence. Pistol added to the court record. Yay! Very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross-examine the witness, although I don't see a point. Yes, Your Honor. Huh. Uh, uh Trucy, why are you staring like that at the witness? What? That man! I can't help but feel I've seen him somewhere before. Hmm. He's a panty thief. Oh, <gasps> what? Uh, yep, Stickler probably has an obsession with female panties. Probably. Wow. He just looks like one of those shady characters. That night I passed through the park. Holy. On the way home from shopping, you say? Why go through the park? Ah, uh, fascinating inquiry. Revealing my... Uh, capable of being insufficiently verbose. Let us consider the time saved by passing through the park on the way home from the oh, store. No. In the time I came, I am capable of solving two GMAT problem sets. On average, it requires me three minutes, 200... Ergo, the time to complete the two is average. However, in the case that the questions are in verbal category, admittedly... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> That's enough! That's, I get the idea. <laughs> it's a justice. The court hopes to finish the cross-examination sometime this month. Please, have a recording booked after this trial. Let's not go on and on and on. I've got a show to perform, too. I'm sorry you're all so busy. <laughs> He's going to spend an hour answering. One man answering. pulling a stand. Were these men talking by any chance? Oh no, I don't want to hear his response. Every response is going to be an hour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> oh my god. No! Oh. Cross-examination. Here we go. <sighs> Ah, uh, now that you mention it, there were, though I cannot claim, I heard them clearly. Only fragments, such as, you lied to me, oh, and I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, pal. <laughs> it's just as our defendant claims. I believe he wished to teach the victim what it felt like to take a bullet in the heart. If that's true, then this is a vital piece of testimony. For once... Sounds like he heard them clearly enough to me. Might I be allowed to amend my testimony? Huh? What, what now? To be precise, he did not say pal, but man. <laughs> yes, that was the way of it. I swear it on my diploma. What 
is the difference? <laughs> oh and this other man, who was he? I saw them quite clearly, the man facing. <sighs> How can you be so sure it was the defendant? The crime took place at night. It would have been too dark. Mm. <laughs> is he looking over his Perhaps legs? I was remiss in not mentioning this earlier. Huh? You see, in class, I always sit in the very back most seat. Do you know why? No, who cares? I'll tell you. Because I do not wish anyone to copy my perfect notes. <laughs> oh my god. And this relates to your testimony how? I mention this to illustrate my... my predisposition. My predisposition that is perfect. It was dark, you say, yet there are lights in the park. If I saw the defendant was in the park that night, then was he was in the park. It is hard, immutable fact. He sure is confident. He sure seems to be telling the truth, too. <sighs> I hate this guy. <laughs> Are you sure the pistol you saw is the same as the one you submitted as evidence? I'm sure. Surely you jest. <laughs> or as a common witness would be tempted to say... Yet I am no common witness. I see not only events as they are, but logical structure governing these events. First, we must consider the fact that it was night in the park, which indeed my field of vision, due to insufficient levels of illumination, consider that the pistol, let us call it an object A, was indeed shrouded because it's difficult to say with certain that the object A was indeed object A. I think he means that he couldn't see it clearly. My badge for a normal witness. Yet the fact that the pistol was fired before my eyes is indisputable. I can still see it when I close my eyes. The defendant raised his weapon, shot the bullet, and hit the man. Okay, are you absolutely certain only one shot was fired? Yes, of course, it was one shot. Why do you ask? Aha! A contradiction, finally! Mr. Stickler, according to the court record, the pistol was fired twice. A clear contra... Good eyes, Herr Justice. You're cool. Real cool. Huh? <laughs> you really think so? No. Yet there is no reason why this other shot had to have been fired that night. Meaning? The pistol came from the Kitaki family mansion, Cha. I think it was not unreasonable to assume the pistol had been fired once before that night. During, perhaps, another altercation? He's got a point. Judging from his smug expression... I'd say Prosecutor Gavin had that answer ready before you even spotted the problem! He seems pretty confident in his testimony. We always make the biggest mistakes when we are most confident. He's got a weak point somewhere, Apollo. Find it. Right. Better give that testimony another listen, I suppose. Okay. Guy's no, that's what a like a PhD and like whatever he has gets you. No friends and everyone hates you, <laughs> and you're in debt for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what do you want me to press him on? Mm, well, didn't part of his testimony he said that he shot one. Do you want me to go to the gun? Oh, where was the gun again? In this hand he held yes, the pistol was pointed at the man. A shot, the bullet hit the man, pulling the stand from the front, square in the forehead. Um... A shot. Well, yeah, can you... What is the... Can we see what evidence we have? Uh, we have the gun. Well, we already talked about the gun. Maybe there's any other evidence. Not the panties. No! Not the paint, not the Panties! Gun. No, Luke. Is there, like, something about the uh, picture of the victim or something? Is there a... Uh, Autopsy report? Time of death. Single shot. Damage resulting from bullet wound. Right temple. Damage resulting from bullet wound. 
it says single shot. I don't know. I guess we can try it and see if we present that. What about the knife? Um, yeah, I don't know why he would have a knife. Try it. Okay. Objection! Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. I... what? It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Um, you sure about that? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Justice. Oops. Ah, that didn't go so well. Um, I still think we should put the autopsy report because it says, uh, bullet hit the man pulling the stand from the front, square in the forehead, and this said... Okay. This one, the autopsy report says it was in the right temple, so is that the same thing as square in the forehead? I guess no. it would... No. I guess I don't think it's square. Squared. Square in the forehead would not. Yeah, the right temple would be not in the middle of your forehead. Okay. Yeah, I think that's slightly different. Phew! If that's all of it, I think I have a chance. Is that you relaxing? I see, Hair Justice. Huh? Oh, <laughs> no! Objection! Once is quite enough, Mister Justice. Apollo, pace yourself. This trail's not over yet! Ah! Right! Um, <clears throat> look at this! The autopsy report? Is that a problem with the autopsy report? I'm um, right, a problem. Uh, the problem, 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 problem. Uh, yes! The problem is the location of the entry wound. Hmm! The location? You testified that the killer shot the victim square in the forehead, did you not? Ah, uh, I have already determined your angle of inquiry. Oh no. Allow me to explain. It's quite simple, really. First, understand that when I say square, I speak not of geometrical. What I mean to say by, for example, the detection of meter is <laughs> wavelength of light emitted by krypton particles, as well as an addition. It's well known fact that the krypton particles are rare and invisible. I, which points to basic fallacy in the line of reasoning, namely, Mr. Justice! <laughs> uh, yes? Was your objection to these, uh, Krypton particle things? <laughs> this is a big time, and you're obsessed with something so small, you disappoint me. No, no, I'm obsessed with something big. I mean, there's a bigger, less nitpicky problem here. You tell, because I'm utterly confused and lost. <laughs> okay, look at the autopsy report. The location of the entry wound was the right temple. The temple... Mr. Stickler, you said quite clearly that the victim was shot square in the forehead. There's a contradiction, isn't it? Mm. It is, right? Finally. Objection! Hair justice. Oh, hair justice. Yes? Your tactics are outdated, trying to shake the witness by objecting to trifles. Surely you haven't forgotten the fatal wound your master suffered seven years ago? Phoenix Wright, was it? Huh? Look, I know the wound was in the wrong place according to this testimony. No. Hey, hair forehead. Forehead. Let us imagine you walking through the park. You see two men facing each other, one with a pistol, trained on the other. What would you do, hair forehead? Well, I guess... Stop calling me forehead! I would try to stop them. I'd probably shout, stop! And you, Fraulein? M -m me Well, I'd probably scream, eek! And you, Herr Stickler? What did you shout, I wonder? Ah! If the victim turned his head at the last moment, gulp. Ah, yes. Thank you for jogging my memory. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> It sounds uh, like an, uh, uh, a change to the testimonies required. Oh no, I feel like he's going to make this up. Yeah. He probably didn't do anything to save that victim. He's probably a coward. No. Uh. 159. Mm. Okay. And we're trying to get to 700. Um, a night in the park. Two. Okay, here we go. 
As soon as the killer raised his pistol, I took action. Cease this at once, you two, I cried with composure. <laughs> oh, no. The victims turned in direction of my voice and a shot rang out. Whereupon our cowardly killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. Just because you said stop. I see, so you attempted to stop the crime. Indeed, with composure. Well, maybe the criminal wouldn't have fired if he hadn't shouted like that. That doesn't really matter now, unfortunately. Let's consider this new testimony, shall we? Observe the diagram, if you would. Yeah, diagrams are a big thing in the Apollo Justice. Mm. The witness, Mr. Sickler, was it? Stood here. He shouted, Oh, stop, please! Or something of this nature. And the victim responded by looking in the witness's direction. Hmm. If the killer were to have fired at just that moment, as we could see, the bullet would have struck the right temple, as in the report. Case closed. That does seem to be the case. Witness the power of the junior in Ivy University's Department of Science. Very well, Mr. Justice. You may, um, cross-examine the witness. Hmm. Cross-examination. A night in the park. As soon as the killer raised his pistol, I took action. So you saw a raised pistol. Weren't you frightened? It can be said we students of Ivy University know no fear. The moment I saw that pistol, my inner sense of justice compelled me to take action. That was certainly brave of you. You might have gotten shot. It... You certainly were lucky, kid. If I were in the killer's shoes, I certainly wouldn't have left a witness behind. He actually looks like he had no idea he was in danger. Regardless, I attempted to halt the bloodshed. Cease this at once, you two. Um, are you sure both men were able to hear your voice? They were, of course. My high, exquisite voice echoed through the park. It's a high-pitched voice? Oh, no. no. Nope. Not changing it. And the victim responded to that, uh, call like... Quite... The victim turned... Is he supposed to have, like, a Mickey Mouse uh, voice or something? I guess he's supposed to have, like, a nerdy voice. Like, hey, guys. <laughs> no, no, no way. Not happening. Did you hear the gunshot at the same time as the victim turned? Indeed, I would say about the same time, to be precise, yes. And the victim didn't ask you for help? It can be said that he didn't have time to ask. He didn't even have time to take a single step. I'm totally sure that the killer fired because Mr. Stickler startled him! Don't say that too loud, Trucy, please! Whereupon our cowardly killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. Um, can you describe the killer's actions more clearly, please? He seemed quite surprised, especially considering that it was he who did the deed. As we can see, human psychology is tangled web indeed. <laughs> he simply couldn't believe what he had done. He shot, he panicked, a common tale but true. Unfortunately, before I could take further action, tossing the pistol aside, he fled. You didn't try to apprehend the criminal? It all happened so fast, I'm afraid I hadn't the time. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd, Apollo? What? The killer was in a hurry, right? He fired the pistol and tossed it right away. According to the testimony, that's what happened, yeah. In that case, I'd expect to find something that we didn't find on it. Find something? Find what? I like that contradiction. Kind of sad to see it go. Not as sad as I feel. What do we do now? At least the testimony is getting a little clearer now. She's right. Maybe I can find something to use in this new testimony. Hmm. Uh, okay. So we know that as soon as the killer 
tossing the pistol when when he said the thing about throwing the pistol aside that's when she said that there's something there well, the only thing that I saw at the crime scene was the uh, the knife in the ground hmm yeah that's interesting there was a knife with fingerprints on it but no gun with fingerprints I don't think because mm. I don't think there were fingerprints on the weapon on the gun. Because if he had, if he was trying to run fast, he wouldn't have had time to wipe the fingerprints from his gun. If he really did shoot him. But he really did drop a knife with fingerprints. We can try it. I have two strikes. Or one strike, but we'll try it. Um, no, I would, uh, I would try putting the gun. When he said throwing the pistol aside, I would present the gun because it proves that he couldn't have thrown it aside because there were no fingerprints on it. He wouldn't have time had time to wipe the fingerprints. You want me to present the gun? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That contradicts it. Objection! Wait a second! Tisk tisk, another misleading request. Yet you're so beholden to your own mode of discourse, you can't see how it affects you. Oh wait, did we forget to check um, the gun? Come again? We forgot to examine it. Wait a second, you say? A second? Are we intended to wait just that single second, one sixteenth of a minute? That's hardly enough time to draw a breath, let alone make a statement in court. Now, had you asked for a longer period of time, say three minutes... Mr. Justice! Uh, yes, Your Honor. Might understand you're objecting to the length of a second? Yes! I mean, no! Here, just uh, look at the pistol. It doesn't have a single fingerprint on it. Yeah. Ah, uh, common ploy made all more common, I fear, by the prevalence of television. Criminals these days are loath to leave fingerprints. Wait, but you said the killer tossed the gun and ran. That's right! He didn't have time to wipe the gun for prints! <gasps> oh! <laughs> ah, the little girl sticking it to the university student. There's a song in there. <laughs> I'm not little! You're 15. You're little. Ha ha ha! Then let's think like adults, shall we, Fraulein? Arrest that man! What? What if the killer, the defendant, was wearing gloves? Um, gotta admit, I didn't think of that, Apollo. Wow. Well, Why Mr. Would... Justice, could the killer have been wearing gloves? No. No, because the fingerprints That's were on, on the, the knife. knife. Yeah. Okay. All right. The record of the murder weapon is very clear about one thing. The fingerprints were wiped, which means some trace of the prints remained. Which contradicts your testimony. If everything happened as you said it did, he didn't have time to wipe the pistol. Yawn. That may be, but it does not change what I saw. The killer, the defendant. He threw down the murderous weapon from his hand and fled. Mm. And the pistol was found at the scene of the crime, strongly suggesting that this was the weapon he disposed of. That sounds solid to me, well hair forehead. Any of your precious objections? What gives, Apollo? Let's see that voice training go to work! You know, I've only recently realized something. No matter how much you train your voice, it doesn't matter if you have nothing to say. What do you mean, nothing to say? Isn't it obvious from what the witness just said? Huh? Isn't what obvious? When he restated what he saw just now, he... What he said he saw Waki drop a murderous weapon, Apollo. But that's not the same as being 100% sure of what Waki threw away. I have no idea what's going on at this point. You're... You're right. Yeah, I, I, I am. Guess. He's just confused because a pistol was found at the scene. Poor Mr. Stickler, it must have been hard to be so perfect and yet so wrong. Well, it can be said that I'm quite offended. While it is indeed true that once in my youth I wrote a love letter that was seized by the teacher and posted on the blackboard for all to see, the appellation of poor might be perfected in my name as... <laughs> Why? Can we please shut this man up? What can we say for certain is that the witness saw the killer throw something? Does the defense have anything to say about this? Well, if what he threw wasn't a pistol, then it had to be something else. You stole my line. 
At least for one person on the defense team seems to be thinking... I'll wipe that smile off your pretty face, Gavin. Perhaps you can inform the court as the nature of the something else? What did the killer throw away before fleeing the scene? Something with fingerprints on it! A ramen cart! Is that a sword? I saw one of those on the late night movie last night. Great, a sleep deprived judge. This knife was found at the scene of the crime, Your Honor, with the defendant's fingerprints on it. There's prints! This single piece of evidence proves two important things. One, that the defendant threw down wasn't a pistol. Two, that the defendant wasn't wearing gloves. Mm, indeed. Oh, hair forehead. You're forgetting two other things you've just proven. Huh? One, that the man the witness saw was the defendant, Mr. Waki. Two, that the defendant was holding a knife with the intent of harming the victim. Ah! Oops. Well, indeed, that... Yep. I never underestimate Gavin. Is a lesson here. This court is of uh, the opinion that our witness is found of making assumptions. In that light, I believe it would behove us to hear about what really occurred. With less assuming, please. Yawn. It is always the same with you people. Mark left the house on foot, and five minutes later, his brother left after him. How long would it take for Mark's brother to catch up to him? Assuming that Mark's never had to stop for traffic light. Assuming, yes, that's what I said, assuming. As if that were a probable situation at all. Yet here you are assuming that my assumption is no better. What? What does this court assume? Is that the witness will testify as to what happened after the shot was fired. Was he just saying a math problem? Yep. Alright. A shot. Okay, guys. This is what too much school does to people. Yep. Alright, so this is how it's gonna work, people. We were able to get the stream up to about 740 views. The rest is up to you guys. A thousand views is required to continue the series. Good luck, everybody. Uh, Tekken is next. Tekken will be starting up in five minutes. Five minutes for Tekken. Awesome! Yep, thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys had a lot of fun. And uh, do your best to continue the series. Yay. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully see everyone tomorrow with the series if we get 1,000 views. Yep, so you guys have to get, if my math is correct, 300 views. Or, yeah, 300. Like 350. Awesome! All right, good luck, people. Tekken will be starting up very soon.